What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here at Leads for Locals. In this video, real quick, I wanted to share why I made the switch from StreamYard over to EV Mux for my live streaming, podcasting, video recording, all that stuff. And it's because uh, out of nowhere, StreamYard just decided to significantly increase their costs, uh, at least on a percentage basis anyways. My plan went from $25 a month to almost $45 a month. And I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't mind it too much if there was like awesome new benefits and features added to that plan. Uh, and maybe a little heads up would have been nice too, but we didn't really get any extra functionality uh, that, that I recognized anyways that I was benefiting from. So naturally that I started looking for an alternative because that kind of stuff just pisses me off. Uh, I don't mind, you know, incremental increases in cost for something, you know, inflation and you want to make more money and you're providing additional features and benefits. I get it. That's fine. And uh, maybe it goes from 25 to 30 bucks a month, whatever. But you almost doubled the cost and didn't really give us anything for it. So that's not cool in my book. So if you're in the same boat and you're looking for an alternative that uh, is not going to require, you know, a super long learning curve and, you, you know, you love StreamYard, you want to use those features, but, you know, you're... Uh, not not okay with paying double the cost for the same stuff. EV Mux is definitely for you. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to get comfortable with it because it's so similar to StreamYard, and I'm only paying $25 a month again. So I want to give you guys a just quick walkthrough, basic tutorial about how to use EV Mux and show you how similar it is to StreamYard, so that you can make that switch if you're looking, uh, if if that's what you're looking for. All right. So uh, pretty standard dashboard here. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You got your light. In dark mode right there whatever all right you can connect all your destinations here so if you are looking to live stream to multiple platforms at once just like Streamyard, you can absolutely do that you'll just log into the different platforms here and you're good to go all right studios is where we're going to spend the majority of our time uh, but you can add more speakers uh, collaborators you know uh, your speakers you're going to want to add um, you'll see why later when we start to create like the custom scenes that we were able to use inside of Streamyard. Um, so you can add speakers here, like if you're going to have a guest on your platform, uh, collaborators, if you have team members that, you know, you want them to do some of the work and you know, work on different projects, you can add uh, team members as well. Uh, studios. So um, you can actually have multiple studios if you want to stay a little bit more organized with your content, like if you have uh, lots of different types of content or maybe different podcast shows and you just want to stay more organized, you can create different studios. And uh, all the recordings will be organized within that one particular studio. All right, so you would just click, uh, click on create recording and it would create a, a new studio for you here. All right, but I already have a studio created, so that's what we're going to use. Uh, but first, I'll show you the recordings, pretty standard stuff here. All right, this is where all the uh, recordings will be. We can come in and do like some basic editing. Uh, if we click the three dots, we can download it, download the transcription, we can trim the video download audio only if you want to upload to different uh, like actual podcast platforms i uh, can create clips and shorts all that stuff all right and then of course we can check the box and download it cool all right uh but let's get into the main stuff here let's uh whoops let's go to our studio all right so i've got my millennial wealth creator studio here which uh, if you guys uh, have not subscribed to my other youtube channel i would definitely recommend it uh, it's me just sharing my personal wealth building journeys it's one thing to make money in our business but then the question becomes well what do we do with that money um, so I'm just sharing my journey with infinite banking whole insurance private money lending Bitcoin all that stuff so if you want to uh, check that out I'll link it down below all right so pretty uh, similar format and layout as StreamYard when you were entering the studio so we can click settings Make sure our camera and audio are good. We can add virtual backgrounds. I'll, we'll play around with backgrounds here in a second. Uh, hot keys, uh, what happens with comments, advanced settings, all that good stuff, right? So make sure you check that out. All right, let's enter the studio and let's have some fun. So like I said, very, very similar layout as, uh, as StreamYard down here at the bottom. You know, we can add and remove people uh, from scenes. This is also like if you were to share your screen, this would come up. You can add and remove that. Uh, you can add cameras. I haven't played around with that just yet, but um, you can also invite guests. Here's the, you know, send a link. You can send emails directly inside of EV. Uh, well, it's not directly inside of EV Mux, but it'll pop up like your Microsoft or you know, account or uh, like Outlook or Yahoo or whatever. All right, so you can invite guests. Uh, let's start up here at the top left or continue here on the top left, the main things. Um, let's actually go through some of the basics and then I'll show you what these layers are. All right, because this is how we create like the custom scenes that we were able to use inside of StreamYard. All right, but we can add music. So we got sound effects here. 
All right, we've got music that we can add to our videos. So very similar uh, type, types of features of StreamYard. Comments, this is where you can reply to different comments from your audience that are coming in from the various different destinations. All right, you can post a comment right here. Uh, I think, yeah, uh, so right here is all destinations. Uh, so if you only wanted to do a comment on YouTube and not Facebook, like, you know, you can select the de uh, destinations where the comments go. All right, you can also show comments as they come up. So if you want to display them on the video, uh, I've always loved this feature. I think it's really cool. Uh, it's really good for engagement with your audience as well. All right, so that's pretty uh, straightforward. Down here, uh, so if you don't want to, like let's say uh, you want to send a message specifically to your guest and not have the audience see it or post a comment uh, on one of your platforms, you can send a private chat to the, uh, the group or like the group would be the guests that you have on, on the platform. If you just want to send a message that only they can see and not the audience, that's what the private chat's for. All right, banners. I love banners. These are really cool. I use these to stay organized usually with my content. So I'll usually have like three to five main points that I want to cover. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. So I'll usually create a separate banner for each one. Uh, or if I have a guest that uh, is coming on and I have specific questions, I'll just I'll create a banner for each question to make sure I don't forget anything. It helps uh, helps you stay on track. Uh, but the other thing too is uh, you can actually show the banners as well. Uh, again, it just makes the video a little bit more engaging. So if you want to sh uh, show the different uh, the new point that you're talking about or new topic that you're talking about uh, just kind of make add a little bit more engagement to that transition you could do that and if we edit this you can also have it scroll across the screen i think this is pretty cool all right uh whoop, you gotta show it there we go so it'll actually scroll across the screen it's really cool good stuff uh i actually don't want that right now though so i'm gonna turn that off and then uh you can i I don't think there's a limit on the banners that you can create. So here's your primary text, secondary text. You can have it scroll if you want, click create, and then you're, you're good to go. That's it. So banners, really cool. Uh, the brands, all right? This is pretty standard stuff, guys. It depends on your preference for your brand, you know, color scheme and all that stuff. All right, so this is, again, whenever a, a banner or comment comes up that you show, what kind of style and color do you want? Uh, here's your primary colors as well. The font family. The frames are pretty cool too. I, I really like this uh, this lightning wave one. This is really neat. So you can put uh, really cool frames around the uh, the video. Uh, I think I just think that's really cool. And of course, you can add your own. So if you have some, maybe you made some and made one in Canva or something like that, you want to add it. You can add your own frames. All right. So again, just adds another level of customization and engagement. Right. I think it's pretty sweet. Let me actually turn that off for now. Which one is it? There we go. All righty, let's get into the layers. So uh, if you remember, let, let's actually go to the dynamic scene because uh, if you remember from uh, StreamYard, we had these different scenes that we could, we could utilize depending on, you know, if we're sharing our screen or we have guests coming on. And the question would be like, what do we want that to look like on screen? How do we want to organize uh, everything? And how do we, uh, like, where do we want each layer? That's basically what these uh, what these scenes are. Okay, so the the first part, uh, if we scroll down, so there's a couple of other things you can add here. So you can add your logo. I like adding the logo, my logo, to my background, which is uh, if we scroll down, that's what you see in the in the back right here. I just made this in Canva really quick. So we go to background. You know they have some default ones that you can use if you wanna uh, if you wanna use these. It's uh, it's up to you. But you can also add your own, or you can generate it with AI, which is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, you can just type in the prompt here. You get 20 credits. That's probably plenty if you're just creating one or two backgrounds. Click generate and AI will create it for you. I will uh, probably play around with that a little bit later. Uh, that's, a, that's, that's a pretty neat feature. I think the same thing with overlay. Um, I don't know if AI. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, you can use, um, you can generate different overlays with these things as well. That's, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty wild. So anyways. That is uh, overlays, all right, backgrounds, video clips. You can add your own uh, as well, all right. So again, very, very similar functionality as StreamYard, all right. So once you have your background and overlays and all that good stuff, now we can start to create these different scenes over here, so these pro scenes, all right. And it's, it's what you can uh, switch to 
over here, but uh, they're just on the left hand uh, uh, left sidebar once you start using them. All right. So how do we create these? Well, so you can see I've got four different ones here. These were the main ones that I was using inside of StreamYard. So uh, I have like just a solo screen with the uh, with my custom backgrounds right there. I have a vertical screen share. I usually use this one if I am uh, sharing a video that I'm breaking down. Uh, so this one right here is my camera, and then this right here is the screen share. All right, and to share the screen, we just share screen right here, and you can select entire screen window. You can choose to share the tab audio if you want. So if you are doing uh, like breaking down a different video and you want to make sure your audience hears the video that you're breaking down, you would turn this tab on. All right, so that's how you would do that. Okay, uh, and then I have some. Uh, I have one that's just a full screen share with no camera. And then I have a bottom left and a bottom right uh, screen share. Create these. You can either uh, click the uh, where to go. Uh, I think it's uh, take the lag in here a little bit. Uh, well, there was a plus sign there. I think it's when uh, we're on dynamic scene. Yeah, there it is. You can click the plus sign when you're on dynamic scene, or we can just click add scene right here. And they have some default ones as well that you can play around with. Uh, you can give it a name. All right, to help you stay organized, I'm just going to choose empty for now to show you guys how to insert like different layers that you want. All right, so we'll click create and now we can add some layers here. So uh, obviously we want to add ourselves. OK, so we're going to add a speaker here. And I know there's a way. Uh, how did I do this? Not dimensions to maximize. OK, well, that's um, we don't want that. So we can, oh, oh, there we go. Um, I don't know why that wasn't working earlier. Uh, anyways, we can uh, position uh, where we want our camera. Okay, we can resize it and like all that good stuff, right? So let's say I'm doing another vertical screen share right here. So I want the camera there. And then uh, let's say, so I think you have to have multiple speakers added to add another one here. So like if I wanted three vertical cameras, like I'm gonna have two guests on, I, I think I have to add those speakers. Like if you go back to the dashboard and you have the speakers tab on the left sidebar there, you have to add your speakers there first, but uh, you just add them really quick, come back to the scene, and then you can add these additional layers. Um, and you're just using that speaker layer right there. All right, so we got media share here as well. So if I wanted to, um well let's do yeah, let's do the screen share there all right so maybe i want to share my screen and then let's let's maximize it yeah i don't know i guess uh i guess you have to click that first in order to like really uh adjust the size of the particular layer but there's probably another way to do it but that's uh, that's how I've uh, figured out how to do it so far. All right, but the point is uh, we, we can add all these different layers. You can reorganize them as well. Uh, this is for positioning. So for example, if, uh, if I was creating another like bottom left uh, screen share scene, all right, you can see, uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's actually move this so you can see the example here. So you see how the, the camera layer right here uh, disappeared. So now it's behind the screen share. Well, you would just reorganize it, move that to the front, and now the camera is in, is in front of the screen share, right? So now I can have my camera and my screen share at the same time. All right, and then uh, anytime I want to switch in, uh, in between different scenes, depending on what I'm doing, so like maybe I'm sharing my screen here, I, like I, I do this all the time, where I'm sharing my screen, maybe I'm going through an article or a presentation or something like that, and there's like a, a really important point that I wanna make, I will go back to my solo scene, okay? talk, you know, do my, do my thing. And then maybe I want to go back to my screen share and then I just come back to it. Click it. And that's it. Literally all you have to do. All right. Um, and then, uh, so if we click here too, uh, there's like different transitions and background colors that you can utilize as well. Totally up to you. Just depends on how complicated and custom, not, not complicated, but how customized, uh, you want each scene to be. So, uh, yeah, th those are the main features. There's, you know, I'll do additional videos as I use uh, more features inside of EVMux, but those are the main things that uh, I think most people will be using with EVMux. So I'll go ahead and wrap up with that. I hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, and obviously, I mean, when we're ready to record, we click up here, 
uh, you know, recording, start. Um, the only, so one feature that EV Mugs doesn't have with the studio that kind of annoyed me, but not really a big deal, is that in StreamYard, when you're recording, you have the option to just restart uh, the recording really quick. EV Mux doesn't have that at the moment. I imagine that'll be a feature at some point in the future. But right now, like if you, so when you're recording, if you want to start over, you have to end the recording. It ends up in your recordings tab. So it takes up space. You'll have to go in and delete those uh, and as opposed to just being able to restart them. So that's a little bit annoying, but not, not a deal breaker in my opinion. So anyways, that's what I'll go ahead and wrap up with. If you guys have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And uh, I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Ice is out.